Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. It's not working well. I want to use the arc, or not arch, the uh, Manjaro arch intent uh, thing. But for some reason, whenever I do the install, it always tells me that like there's no operating system found after I complete all the things so to test this out I'm just gonna give it two gigs of RAM and I'm gonna give it a 64 gigabyte hard drive and then in here system processor I'll give it two cores uh, that doesn't matter. Storage, the CD drive, choose that Manjaro, the 64 bit version. Audio is fine. Networking, yeah, it's fine. And let's start it. See view, full screen. That's okay. So let's see, boot Manjaro. Okay, Manjaro, Manjaro, set up. English okay for the installation I'm going to partition the disks and I'm going to use CF disk with the GDP new First thing I'm going to do is 4096 megabytes, which I will set as the cache. Create another new one. Let's make that 50 gigabytes for my home partition. And finally, create the last bit for the root directory. Write the data. Yes. And quit. Now, mount the, par mount the partitions. OK. I would like to mount the root to the 13 gig partition as ext4 yes that's okay yes we'd like to set up the swap to be that four gigabyte partition yes that's okay and the final partition i would like to make that btrfs yes mount it as home those are okay yes and finally configure the mirror list rank by speeds the stable ones okay
There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and select these. I don't need UK. I just like those three US ones. Go down to the bottom. So I go over to OK. OK. Back. Refresh the keys. I'm not sure if I need to, but I always do that just to make sure all the keys are up to date. Back. Prepare the desktop. Install Manjaro desktop. Okay, I'm going to install the Yoart Base D Lab and Linux 14 oh, 4.13. Okay, I don't need, I don't think I need any of these. I guess the virtual box things, I'll enable those. I would like XFCE. Would you like to install additional packages? No, not at this time. Let's do the minimum install. There, as you can see, it's downloading the Linux 413 package right there.
So for being a minimum install, this still installs quite a bit of stuff. There we go. Okay. Now then, what's in auto install the free drivers, which would be uh, installing video VirtualBox.
Okay, so it's actually installed that. Let's install the bootloader. Use grub. On the har only hard drive that's there. Successfully installed. Let's see, uh, I can forget the base, generate fstab, and it says to do it, it, they recommend using in the UUID, so I would do that. Set the host name, that seems good. Set the locale, I am English, US, desktop keyboard would be US. Time zone clock, uh, America, Chicago, yes, UTC, set root password, set it again, create a new user, Troy Borg, I would like to use bash. Generating user back configure tweaks. I don't need any of those. View configuration files. That looks okay. See, oh, I don't need, really need the ch root in. So, see, uh, and then fg. Okay, back. So. Don't really need any of those things, so done. Close the installer, yes. Would you like to see the installer thing? Nah. Okay, so now shut down. Now. Now I'd like to go into settings, go into storage, or sorry, system. Dis disable the CD drive so it boots off of the hard drive. Start. And yes, I would like to switch to full screen. And fatal. No boot media found. System halted. Why? Why is it not booting onto that hard drive or the thing that I just set up? Because I I told it set up set up grub, but what am I doing wrong? That would be extremely nice. Thank you.